Hello, I'm Karen and I own the Kate Tower and in this set of videos I'm going to show you how I make my edible golf clubs and a golf bag. I haven't got a finished one to be able to show you because I've had too many emergency orders and they've all gone out but I do have a golf club at this stage. So I'm going to show you how to get it to this stage. I always start with the golf clubs first because they take the longest amount of time. So I'm just going to put that out of the way and I'm going to start off, I've already rolled myself some balls this morning and for the actual main stick of the actual club, this part here, these need to be 3 grams each and I like to work in little sets and also because I'm working with white icing it tends to be a little bit more sticky than my other icing so I'm just going to use a little bit of corn flour just to make sure that my hands aren't going to stick to the icing. Um, always knead the icing first to get it nice and soft. And if you're new to my videos, thank you for coming and watching. Um, if you'd like to go and have a look at my other videos, I'll show you actually how to make my modelling icing. So I've rolled it into a ball and all we're going to do is just roll roll it out in your hand first it's always easier to get going and we're just going to roll ourselves some little sticks now these sticks they tend to be about two and a half inches long and I've got one that I already made earlier I like to keep one to one side so it makes it easier rather than getting the tape measure out each time and just making sure that you're making them approximately the same size so that one needs to be a little bit bigger there and that's fine so as usual I've got my board with my greaseproof paper on it to stop it from sticking and we're just going to leave those on the board to dry um, I make mine in sets of five and it's entirely up to you how you choose to make yours but I just thought I'd show you again we're just going to roll it into a ball that's all we're doing rolling it out like that into a sausage and pressing quite firmly as I do this in my hand and then spreading my fingers apart to actually stretch the icing and get the icing to the correct size and so I'll just bring my other one back just to check and we're looking at that say so yes that's approximately the same size, it's not quite flat there in the middle but I'll just give that a little bit of a tweak and I'm going to put that onto my board as well and I build them up onto the board till I've actually got my sets of five but it'll take too long for the video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next stage and show you this is once the stick's dried so it needs to be really solid you can't go and have the next stage if you've left it for too short amount of time because if they're too soft when you go to work with them all you're going to do is just snap your handles so you really need to make sure that these are nice and firm now I've got some smaller ones small balls that I've already rolled and these ones are two grams just bring back the scales to show you And there we go look they're two grams each so what you're going to do with this you're going to knead it to get it nice and soft again and then you're going to roll that into a ball <clears throat> I'm sorry tickle through here we go there just a bit of corn flour my hands stop it from sticking and then we're going to roll it into the teardrop shape and I'm just going to pinch it slightly that's all just so that we've got this end to represent the golf club and then I'm going to get a little bit of my boiled water most of it off on the back of my hand I'm just going to just put a little bit of the boiled water onto there just rub it so it's going tacky I'm going to get the stick and I'm just going to push that into the club part I suppose that's a club part I'm not really sure of the terms of the end of a golf club but 
so we have that and then all I do is I get my trusty old butter knife and I just put some lines in it just to I don't know if you can see those lines there I put those on each side and then this also needs to be left realistically for quite a few days so that this is all set and really solid because the next stage is to paint them with the silver and the black work now if they're not set enough you'll be painting away and this will just go straight off and then you'll be like ah oh, and it's really hard to stick them back on while you're actually painting them with um, the edible food colouring so I'm going to stick that back into place there and put that on my board to dry that's the end of this first particular stage. I'm going to do this in lots of small videos so that you can get to these finished results and hopefully it'll be as easy as possible if I break it all down. So thank you for watching this one. Bye!